Hello everyone, it's Ben from the J to give you a review today of episode 5 to 8 of Clarkson's Farm. I did episode 1 to 4 about a week ago, now I'm doing 5 to 8. Uh, episode 5, they are getting over the loss of the pigs and, you know, Jeremy is really quite depressed about it and glad that it's April so he can start to look forward rather than back at the pig losses. Um, and he also decides that he wants to plant some mustard and wants to think about growing some mushrooms. So it's episode five. It is quite uh, um, kind of uplifting after the harrowing, um, literally harrowing, because that's what it's called, episode four. Um, and I, I think it's cool. Um, episode um, also got some good episode six mushrooming. Now, in this episode, Jeremy finds out that. No, they, they get the council ruling from earlier in the episode, in the in the series. Sorry, so um, they get the court ruling for uh, whether they can keep the burger van and the um, beer cafe and the toilets. So that's a moment. And then we also have an episode. Also, this is called mushrooming. So Jeremy decides that he wants to, you know, his mushrooms are coming into into growth and my god he overbuys the mushrooms <laughs> it's hysterical um episode seven called parking now this is almost like a top gear episode if you remember when they did the um um uh, road work um episode where they did it in like overnight and did a small road this almost felt like that because Jeremy decides that he doesn't want to spend the amount of money on the car park that he was um, quoted. So he decides to do it himself. As the man said himself from another show, how hard can it be? Then <laughs> uh, he decides to do it in three days. So this felt like a Top Gear episode, to be honest. Um, um, and also in one of these episodes, Jeremy, if you're not a fan of Jeremy Clarkson, Please watch one of these episodes because he gets kicked in the by a goat. So yeah. Also, we have episode eight, which is called Calculating, where Jeremy and Caleb um, um, toss up their earnings for the year to see who won from the unfarmed, which is Jeremy, and the farming side, which is Caleb, um, and just kind of ties up loose ends and you know like they do for the past two seasons, you know, getting in the rape and all the harvest stuff that they've done through the show so that is episode eight i think this um series is really great um jeremy does genuinely try to do stuff you know um and the weather is real the you know so you know sometimes maybe it's not you know you know what, what do you reckon I, should, I don't know but the weather's real you can't you know you, you can't go right i'm gonna go and film lads if you put a tent over this field, then we can film it. You know, if we put green screen over the top of this tractor, we can film it. And no, if it's peeing over it rain, you can't kind of film and stuff. So that's, you know, that's the realism of Clarkson's farm. You know, he can have ideas when he's asleep or in his tractor, what, he, what else he wants to do to maybe be funny or maybe succeed. But you can't make it succeed because it's nature, it's the weather. And it is what it is. The price of wheat is what it is. The price of chemicals is what it is. And I think it does a good job for farmers. I mean, I've never been interested in farming at all. And, you know, I could physically do it or anything. But um, I think it's a good insight into an industry that we all take advantage of every day and don't think about. So, you know, I think that's the beauty of it. So, yeah, that's been my review of episode five to eight. Of Clarkson's Farm, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe and try and get me to 100 subscribers. I'm currently on 77, so I'm only about uh, 30 short, so that would be um, great. No, it'd be uh, 20, uh, about 23 short. So if we can get me to 100, that would be great. My maths is terrible. So, <laughs> yep, I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.